Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I do DIY home videos, some macrame videos kind of sprinkled in there, projects, project vlogs as I like to call them. If you're into that, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, for today's video, I'm actually going to clean my couch. So I bought this couch two years ago from West Elm. It is the Harmony Couch. It's been a wonderful couch for the last two years and hopefully it will continue to be a wonderful couch for many more years to come. So far it has held up really well. It looks exactly the same as when we bought it. I was really worried about it changing shape because it's a very soft couch, but it hasn't changed shape at all. Um, it's a little blemished because we have a dog who likes to get on our furniture when we're not home, even though she knows she's not supposed to. So every now and then she's had a little bit of a, a snotty nose and she's left some kind of snot marks here and there. I am guilty of eating dessert on this couch every now and then. So there is a couple blemishes from that. And of course, because we have a dog who likes to get on the furniture, like I said, there is a ton of dog hair on it. So the idea today is to clean this and hopefully be able to unzip some of the covers off of it and wash them and that they don't change when I do that. Um, but we're going to kind of do this project vlog style and I'm going to show you from beginning to end how that turns out because when I wash them, some of them might shrink or change color. So like I said, I'm going to start with the two smallest pillows and make sure that those hold up and if they don't then i'm not going to wash any of the other covers and if they do i'm going to wash the rest of them okay so here is the couch in its current state uh looks great probably on camera but up close ton of dog hair do you see that darla likes to lay right there in that spot and her hair just builds up back there so i have some throw pillows on here which i'm going to take off the first items i'm going to wash i'm going to unzip the covers from this little pillow and the other little pillow that matches it which is that one i'm going to throw those in the washer and see how they come out small pillows are washing I am going to clean the base and back of the couch and I'm going to use this brush that I got off of Amazon it has a sort of rubbery uh, feel to it and it is an auto upholstery cleaner brush auto <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right it is a brush used for cleaning car upholstery auto upholstery and it had great reviews for removing pet hair crumbs all kinds of things out of cloth interiors for cars and I thought wow this has got to be good for a couch. And I've used it a couple times and it is pretty awesome. So uh, the parts of the couch that I cannot actually wash, I'm going to use the brush on. I will link the uh, brush uh, from Amazon below in the description box below. So I went through and I brushed the back of this after I got all the, cu all the cushions off and you can see a ton of hair came off it's really gross but now the back of the couch is nice and clean that brush is amazing so now i'm going to vacuum all of this up and get it all out of the way so i have removed all of the hair just vacuumed it up. I swear this couch is looking brand new. I'm super excited. So let's go check on the pillow covers. Pillow covers came out great. All of the hair is out of these. Any little stains that were on there are gone. So let's see how they fit. They don't appear to have shrunk at all. They look brand spanking new. So oh, after washing the pillows, I feel very confident in washing all of the covers for the cushions and the pillows. So I'm going to do that now. So I ran out of sunlight yesterday, but I did get the cushions back on the couch and everything put back together last night. And I have to say that I am really pleased with having washed the covers in the washing machine. They came out really, really great. 
So here's the couch, all clean, the covers back on. No more hair on the back of the couch. Looks so much better. I think they actually fit a little bit better because even though I said that the couch hadn't changed much in the last two years, I realized that the covers on the cushions had gotten a little bit a little bit loose from sitting on it. So now they're right back to where they were. They fit perfectly on the cushions. Nothing shrunk, nothing changed color. Everything looks really good. So if you have this couch, I do recommend this method of washing the covers in the washing machine. Uh, make sure you use a mild detergent. I did use uh, Mrs. Meyers lavender scented, I think, uh, detergent, and that worked really well. And, I, and the, my favorite thing about the couch is how good it smells now. It smells so good. So I'm confident that I can keep this couch clean with a child coming into our home soon. If there's any major stains, I feel really, really, really good about being able to get them out. Uh, thanks for watching this video and hope this was helpful and I will see you guys next time.